Hi YouTube, I'm um, just doing a quick little video. Uh, finally finished everything. The whole fish tank is pretty much all done. Uh, I haven't put a top on this thing yet. As you can see, the light comes out, but I don't know if I'm going to put anything up there yet. Um, everything's doing good in the tank. I put everything in there. Closed down the, the 12 gallon nano. Uh, I put the seahorses in here. I'm not sure where she is. Um, I did have one fatality of the other one. It got stuck in the power head. But uh, I'll show you a quick little video. I got some little doorknobs on here. Some little handles. I showed that's in the recent other video I'm going to have. Um, I do have pictures of the whole build and everything. I'm going to throw that on there. Um, this is everything so far. Um, everything's staying. It's the sump tank for it. And this is the. Uh, it looks like two doors, um, but what it does is up this way. Got a little thing back here. This is what holds it up. Prop it up here. And a little screw. That's how I hold it up. So a little prop. Um, got my nightlight up here. Um, my uh, coral lights and everything. It's all coral life lights, as you notice. Um, but yeah, that's the inside of the stand. As you notice, there's no top. But uh, everything is all closed in. And it looks all good. I'm really happy with it. I might, I might, eventually, I might put like trim, like lighter trim around the whole thing to make it a little nicer. But uh, yeah. That's everything that's the finished product. Step back, take a look. Oh, there goes one of the doors. This door kind of shuts by itself. It has, it's very light. But, yeah. That's that. Um, I added this piece, like I said I was going to, so I have to shut this door first. And then that over this door overlaps that, so then there's no light escaping besides this little piece right here but um it all works it's nice the price tag is still in the wood i don't really care it's on the inside um everything seems to be doing fine something's doing good got quite a bit of macro algae in there starting to grow there's the damsel in the background um, I do gotta change out the filter fiber because it's all crappy and it's restricting a lot of the water coming down. But it's alright. I do gotta find something for this because it's a lot of the bubbles are popping and everything is going all over the place. But it's not really that bad. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with that yet. Um, I don't think I have this. Um, I insulated a lot of the pipes, the return pipe and everything, just to keep the heat in the tank, so it don't lose a lot of heat. Um, this whole thing. But, uh, yeah, my temperature is around like 80 degrees. Can't really see it. But it says around 80. The uh, protein skimmer is actually doing pretty good, even though it's not even rated for this. It's so like a 14 to 29 gallons. I'm eventually going to upgrade that. So if anybody would like to donate a protein skimmer, that'd be awesome. Don't really have enough money to go buy it right now. But, uh, yeah, a lot of this wood and everything was donated from my buddies. So, that's everything. This is the piece that because I uh, cut them in half, like I showed you in the earlier, and this holds it. This piece holds the two pieces together, so it looks like two doors. And I put two screws back here to hold that piece, because that's where I just leave it. And I put uh, two little latches in here, and it clips onto these things. So I did it. I did it like this, so I have more room, 
so I have more room to work in there and everything. I'm gonna probably eventually hang the lights in there, but I did it like this, just so it matches the bottom and it'll look nice. Um, I do gotta add some support into this door because it's starting to warp, but it's alright. It's alright for now, so not too worried. But it looks really nice. It looks kind of. This is in my basement. Kind of matches the walls a little bit. Um, I think it looks like a million dollar fish tank right now. It just, I'm so happy the way it turned out. My girlfriend really likes it. Um, a lot of the corals are doing pretty good. Got some little zoos from uh, my buddy of mine. Just had them loose in his tank. The green stars, they're starting to come back. I still have some of that green algae. Mm, I might have to dose my tank with that county clean because I got some bubble and I'm not sure if that's uh red red algae or is it some uh, coralline algae starting to grow. But uh the one thing I did lose are the pulsating pom poms. They kind of didn't really like the transfer. The Kenya trees are actually right there where that snail is. Um, they didn't really like the transfer. They kind of like died off, but mm, they look like they're starting to grow back. Torch coral, he's getting used to it. He's opening up more every day. Um, what else? The cleaner shrimp. He usually hangs out on that rock like all day long. It's kind of funny. He just hangs out all there. The tangs, he's getting better, even though he got attacked by the damsel before. His fins are a little messed up, but he's getting better. He's starting to swim around more. Um, surprisingly enough, the three clownfish are actually chilling. Um, before it was just uh, that one and this one that usually hanged out, and he would be hanging out with the tang over on this side of the tank, but they're starting to chill. Um, there's that big, this, this crab, this hermit crab is so big. He took over one of the snail shells that I had that are over here. And he's just huge. He's so big compared to all the other crabs. Like he's going huge. Um, I did lose one frag. I'm not sure where it went, but it's somewhere inside the tank. And so are those Kenya trees. So hopefully, or not the Kenya trees, the pulsating pom-poms. So hopefully they'll start coming back. That red mushroom is actually doing pretty good. He's getting a lot bigger. Here's my scooter bunny. He's got a lot bigger. That the green mushroom, he's doing pretty good. Um, the little feather duster on the side. Uh, looks like it's starting to open up. The other mushroom that's on the side of it hasn't really opened up yet. Everything's doing good, surprisingly, because usually the those leathers are the most pain in the butt, but surprisingly, those are doing really good, but the green stars, usually if there's a problem, the, the leather would be all closed up, but, no, the green stars are all closed up, but they'll come back, they're starting to come back, so, um, I do have some more rock. I have in here a little rock crawler. Um, it's my kind of like my science, ex science experiment that I'm doing here. Is, uh, I had from that nano. There was a lot of algae, that green hair algae. This water is like 92 degrees right now. It's really warm, but um. I can actually see there's actually not that much hair algae on these rocks anymore. Um, it's actually kind of killing it off, the heat and everything, in the darkness. So, I might add those rocks into the tank. There's pretty good. That's, that's one big rock at the bottom. And there's a pretty cool looking rock right here. So, I might add those in the tank later. But, uh, I'm going to wait. So kind of just messing around with that because that nano was just all messed up. But that's all I got to say for now. My girlfriend's trying to call me, but yep. 
see you guys later.